Good morning, friends. We are trying another vlog style video in the pantry. And today we are gonna show you how using a few products can take your pantry organization from meh to wow. This is my own pantry, I will admit. Um, so you know things are categorized and organized, but you'll see that it doesn't look super organized because the categories kind of all blend in together. So we're gonna show you how to up-level your pantry. Here is the before of the pantry. You can see that the items are generally categorized. It's not too disorganized, but it doesn't look organized. The systems are probably not gonna be maintainable over time. In fact, they haven't been. Here you can see there's the breakfast, coffee. We've got nuts and dried fruits, honeys, nut butters and jellies, cooking oil, dry goods. This is like taco shells, tortilla chips, into your canned goods, up into pasta and sauces, to soups, and then the baking section. Up here on the top is bulk items, and then sweet treats because I like to have them on hand, but they need to be a little hard to reach. So here is the pantry, and what we're gonna do is what we typically do, take everything out, clean the shelves, wipe everything down, and show you how using a few key products can really take your pantry organization to the next level. One word of advice as you get this process started is that it's going to be surprising to you how much food you have actually accumulated over time, um, and it's a little bit of an overwhelming process to pull everything out. So. Be kind to yourself, take your time, take breaks, and let's get going. So everything has been pulled out. You got to watch that fun time-lapse video. And again, I said it before, but you're gonna be surprised at how much actually comes out of that pantry. Um, here are all the items. I tried to keep them in their groups as much as possible. They'll make my job easier when I start planning out the pantry and picking out which products I wanna use for what. Once everything's pulled out, you wanna check the expiration dates because inevitably something that you've stocked up on has for sure gone past its expiration date. So pull all those things, set them aside, and we will share what to do with them in a bit. So here's the point where, Joni's favorite part obviously, wiping down. No matter how clean you are, just scuzz builds up over time. And, you know, it's probably good to do this at least once a year. Um, just wipe down your cabinets and get ready for the fun of mapping out the product. I will admit this is not my favorite part, but a necessary part. Cool, look at that, gross, man. Good old clean fun right here. Okay, my hair's up, we're getting serious. Shelves have been wiped down, my least favorite part. Where's Joni when I need her? But we're ready to start the mapping planning process. And what's a great thing about this pantry and kind of a detrimental thing about this pantry is that there are really beautiful, nice, deep shelves. So the deep shelves mean you can get a lot in there but it also means a lot of stuff can get shoved to the back and get lost. So I'm gonna grab a measuring tape. We're gonna measure out how deep these are, figure out what kind of products we think are gonna fit and work best to accomplish our goals, and then we'll go shopping. Okay, we're on our way to the pantry store. We are, I, I, I'm on my way to the container store this morning. I've got my measurements. I've got a general idea of what I'm looking for, so Let's go shopping. It's super bright out here, but here we are. Our home away from home, container store. Let's go shopping. Jackpot, so 
We are shopping for the pantry, but this is not the pantry section. Okay, so they're a little low on inventory, but I thought that these water hyacinth bins would look really pretty. And given the depth of my shelves, I think we're gonna need these bigger ones. So I'm gonna ask to see if they have more in the back, because I think these will be great. So if you remember, I have super, super deep pantry shelves, which means I have really deep corners. And I'm going to find um, the biggest turntable they have here. It's one of our favorites. It's a 21 inch um, acrylic spin tray. Um, I'm not seeing it on the shelves here, but we're gonna ask to see if they have it in the back because we need something about this size to really get into those back corners. Did it. Successful shopping trip at the container store. I think I got all the right products. Let's see. Holy moly, overloaded here. We're back from the container store. I've picked up my goodies and I'm gonna start plotting them out into the pantry based on my map, which I um, did a little screenshot for you. And we're gonna see how all this product works in the pantry. Exciting. So we brought back our containers from the container store and I've started mapping them out into the pantry. I did find the 21 inch spin trays, which are my favorite and are gonna really help us in those deep, deep corners. And you can see how nice the water hyacinth bins are fitting on the depth of these shelves. But what's really great is that these deep drawer bins are the perfect size for this little nook in the pantry. And um, now I just gotta think about what makes the most sense to put here. Before this was the breakfast area, and I might make this like the nut butters, jams, jellies area, but we'll see. So another tip to help keep your pantry organized is to decant items from a bag into a mason jar. Whoa. Well, that didn't work, did it? These are typically pretty inexpensive. Um, we've topped it off here with a really cute bamboo lid for aesthetics, but um, any old lid will work. And um, it's a great way to keep the plastic out of your pantry and also keep an eye on how much you actually have before you need to go shopping again. What's awesome about these flour containers is that they hold, I think a whole five pound bag of flour. So they've got this little clip here and you can pull it off. Oops. And you can clip it on right here coolest thing is here, this built-in leveler. And so when you're measuring out your flour, you can just level it off. This is the Pro Keeper brown sugar container and it comes with this cutie patootie little terracotta disc. You soak this in water for I think five to 10 minutes. Just pop it in. And then it's gonna keep your brown sugar super moist and soft because there's nothing worse when you go to start baking and you've got rock hard brown sugar. Okay, we did it guys. The pantry organizing is done. Labor of love. Remember, it always gets worse before it gets better. I had to remind myself of that probably 20 times during this process, but it is done and I'm going to give you the full reveal. I started down here with my nuts and my dried fruits. That's something that my family eats a lot. I used these water hyacinth bins, which I think are great for the depth of my shelf. They're easy to pull out. They contain a lot of stuff. I use mason jars for pack things that I wanna unpackage. But you know, I do also have items that remain in their package. So you could do both. We're gonna move over here into the breakfast area. What's really great about this is these containers allow you to see how much you have left. Got one of my awesome giant 21 inch spin trays over here. And I've got just a lot of different breakfast items on here. The breakfast item, but also a lunchtime item, something we use a lot. Nut butters, honey, and jelly. So those are all here in these awesome intra-design pantry bins. Potatoes go in here. These awesome baskets allow them to breathe. Also my onions and garlic. Other things I cook with a lot are my oils and my vinegars, which are also on this 21 inch spin tray. And then also into like the cooking dinner prep area, I've got pastas, beans and grains, 
and dry goods. This is sort of like my catch-all for, I don't know, dinner prep items that don't require any sort of like refrigeration or anything. And then if you were referencing back to my map of the pantry, I actually had the canned goods one shelf below, but I realized that the height here was perfect for this awesome can riser. I don't know, it's at eye level, so it's just functional and easy and it looks pretty. And then over here is my sauces. So this kind of goes with the dinner prep idea. Um, I've got marinara sauce, half backstock, half sauces, another 21 inch spin tray to take advantage of the depth of these corners. And then I've got my soups and broths right here. Again, these awesome pantry bins, which are just the perfect depth for my shelves, way up high. I can reach it, but it's a little bit of a struggle. I'm not a tall person. Um, and then we've also got our final spin tray here. And this really truly is, this is my kid's extra bulk candy. Um, and this is really truly extra bulk. I've got some extra bulk baking, extra bulk spices, really a lot of bulk. I got a lot of soy sauce, guys. I don't know what that's about. And then up here is other backstock items. So this is more like crackers, chips. I've got some marshmallows up there. Those are items, those are the two baskets I'm gonna check before I go to the grocery store um, when I'm prepping for a recipe. And then over here is our lunch bags, reusable lunch bags right there. Last but not least, the baking section. I used these awesome Pro Keeper containers, which are airtight. They have lots of super cool functionality. I've got my all-purpose flour, my oat flour, my sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, baking soda, baking powder. These are like, I'm kind of obsessed with these little ones. They're great. Anyway, those all fit here. And then any of the other extra little baking supplies that I needed, I put down here with my mixer in another one of these pantry bins. So I can pull it out. It's also visible because I have the pull-out shelves here, which is kind of nice. Ta-da! Thanks for joining me on this pantry adventure. I just wanted to leave you with a few tips for your own organizing adventures in your own pantry. Um, as a professional organizer, I did this by myself. It took me two days. It takes a lot of time and effort to get a pantry to look like this. So just prepare yourself. Set aside some time on a weekend. Do it in phases, involve your kids. They could help with decanting items. They could help by checking expiration dates. There are things that you can do to kind of break this up into chunks. So just be prepared and plan accordingly. So here are some additional tips for organizing your pantry. Number one, don't over plan. I know that sounds silly, but you could really make yourself crazy trying to plan out in advance every single product that you're gonna use. Know that there's gonna be a little bit of room for error. You're probably gonna buy some products you can try a couple and know that you're gonna return some, that's always a good idea. Number two, don't take off any labels until you've put it into the space and you know that it works because the best laid plans always end up having to change. And if you've taken off the labels, you can't return them anymore. Tip number three is maintenance. Don't let all this hard work go to waste. Maintaining a system does take work. Set a calendar reminder and go through your pantry once a month, once every other month. It doesn't have to be super regular basis, but it's gonna, over time, need a little love. If you have any questions about pantry organizing, comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Also, like and subscribe to this channel for more awesome organizing content. And thanks for joining, happy organizing. Mm -hmm.